To optimize the camera for taking pictures of landscapes, you'll want to set it to the aperture priority mode. You'll also want to set the ISO, the white balance, you may need to set the timer mode, and you may want to try out some filters. Let's get started by setting the aperture priority mode. Go ahead and change the mode dial to AV. This stands for aperture value, and what it does is allow you to set the camera's aperture while the camera automatically sets the appropriate shutter speed. In the back, you can see the aperture is set right here. I can use the front dial on the camera to adjust the aperture setting. So I'll just move the front dial right here to adjust the aperture either to a wider setting or a smaller setting. In this case, because it's a landscape, we want to have everything in focus. So what we need is a small aperture setting such as f8. Now let's go ahead and set the ISO. Press the up navigation or ISO button right here. And you can use the control dial in the back to change this setting. You can use the metering mode button right here to make a jump right back to auto. In this case, I'm going to leave this on auto because the camera will actually do a very good job in choosing the proper ISO for me. Now let's go ahead and set the white balance. Press the set button to escape the ISO function and then press the function button again to enter the function menu. Use the up and down navigation buttons to move between the different functions and choose the white balance function right here. Now you can use the control dial to move around this function and choose the appropriate white balance. For most situations, daylight will get you very accurate colors. If you want to slightly increase the red tones in your image, you can use the cloudy white balance setting instead. Go ahead and press set to escape. Now because we're using a very small aperture setting, it's possible that if your scene does not have a lot of light, the shutter speed chosen by the camera is going to be pretty slow. So you may need to use a tripod with this scene. If you press the shutter button halfway, you can see what the camera chooses as its shutter speed. In my case, it's 1 25th of a second. You really should be using a tripod at this speed. Anything below 1 60th of a second, I recommend using a tripod. Or just set the camera on something very stable. If you're going to use a tripod, I recommend using the timer mode. To set the timer mode, go ahead and press the function button right here to access the function menu and use the up and down navigation buttons again to access the timer function right here. This is your self timer mode and I would recommend using the two second self timer. What this means is once the shutter button is pressed all the way, the camera will time for two seconds and then take a picture. This is just enough time to release the camera giving it two seconds to stop shaking before the image is captured. Go ahead and press set to escape. Now you're ready to take your picture. Remember, place the focusing square over something in the distance with enough contrast. Press the shutter button halfway to lock focus. Once the focusing square has turned green, you know the camera is locked focus, you wanna keep the shutter button halfway and then reposition the image if necessary. Then, go ahead and press the shutter button the rest of the way to activate the two second timer. As I mentioned before, you may wanna play around with some of the camera's filters. To do so, change the mode dial to the filters setting, which looks like these two circles right here. Now, if you press the function button, you can move between the different filter options. For example, I sometimes like using this nostalgic option. Go ahead and press set to accept. And then you'll notice down here, I can use the front dial to change this setting. So by using the front dial here, I can actually change this even further and choose a different setting until I get to a very, very contrasty black and white. Many of the filters in the filters mode will have sub filters within them. For example, if I press the function button again and move over to the toy camera effect and then press set, you can see here too, I have three sub filters. So I can change this to warm, standard, or cool. Go ahead and play around with these filters to see which one you like best.